your gut says the answer is one, but your brain's about to be corrected. And honestly, I don't blame you. This expression, 27 divided by 3 times 3 squared, looks super friendly at first. You see that little 3 squared, you think, okay, that's 9. Then uh, you multiply it by 3 to get 27, and finally you divide 27 by 27, and boom, you're staring confidently at 1 like you just solved world hunger. But that's exactly the mistake almost everyone makes. Let me walk you through the wrong logic first, just to show how convincing it feels. Most people do step 1, 3 squared gives 9, step 2, multiply 3 by 9 to get 27, and step 3, then 27 divided by 27 equals 1. And your brain goes, yep, that checks out. Except it doesn't at all. Also, quick thing, if you enjoy catching tiny math misdirections like this, go ahead and like the video and subscribe. It helps more than you think and lets me keep making these fun explainers. All right, let's get into what's actually going on here. The big misunderstanding is that people automatically multiply 3 by 9 before dealing with the division on the left, but multiplication and division live on the exact same level in PEMDAS. PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction, but multiplication and division share equal priority. So when you have a chain like this, you don't jump around, you go strictly left to right. Now, let's follow the proper order. First, the exponent. 3 squared equals 9. So our expression becomes 27 divided by 3 times 9. Now, no shortcuts, no skipping. We move left to right. Start with 27 divided by 3. That gives us 9. So now it's 9 times 9. And 9 times 9 is 81. Nothing fancy, nothing hidden, just the actual rule that division and multiplication must be done in the order they appear. So the correct answer is 81, not 1.